on the fifth day of Novena, let us walk with Claudine to build bridges by trusting in God's providence. Therefore, I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Look at the birds of the air, that they do not sow, nor reap, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. What? is your idea about God's providence. Ideally speaking, God's providence is God's caring provision for His people as He guides them in their journey of faith through life, accomplishing His purpose in them. It also means that God is with us and God is for us. For Claudine, God's providence was the guardianship and care of her God whom she loved much. In desperate moments, she knew if she prayed fervently, her guardian God will never sidetrack her requests. Through her deep faith in God's providence, Claudine built bridges of trust in our Heavenly Father. The sister in charge of the food stores informed Mother Saint Ignatius that there was no flour in the house and only one loaf of bread left for the community and orphans. Mother Saint Ignatius asked all the nuns who were free to come to the chapel and together they made known to the Heavenly Father their need by reciting the litanies of Divine Providence. After earnest prayer, she requested that the last loaf be cut and distributed. To everyone's astonishment, the loaf multiplied and lasted three days, but they were still without flour and no money to buy any more. Once again, Mother Saint Ignatius went to the chapel and kneeling close to the tabernacle, prayed fervently and insistently. A few minutes later, the doorbell rang. I have a load of flour for you. There must be some mistake, sir. We have ordered nothing. Mother Saint Ignatius, being notified, hastened to the door. But where does this flour come from? Who sent it? We cannot pay for this. All is paid for. Mother Saint Ignatius had blind faith in following divine providence and God in His love answered her prayers.